our recent visit to Florida, we spent a day enjoying the sights and sounds of Universal Studios, including their Mardi Gras celebration, which recently came to an end. But what I was most excited about was seeing the new land that just opened last year. This was my first time seeing a land dedicated to some of my favorite characters, the Minions. Replacing the Shrek 4D Theater, this new area is built right across the street from the pre-existing Minions-themed attraction, Despicable Me Minion Mayhem, a motion simulator ride that once gave me motion sickness even though I was sitting in the special stationary seating for people prone to motion sickness. In this video, we will share with you the new attraction, the food, and the merchandise that can be found in Minion Land. And we will let you know what we thought of the whole experience along the way. Upon entering the park, we made our way to the new attraction called Villain Con Minion Blast. Villain Con, you may remember, was a convention of evildoers held in the movie Minions, which was a prequel to the Despicable Me series. The Minions are little yellow, childish, impulsive, banana-loving, capsule-shaped life forms who are attempting a career as evil henchmen, but they are a little too lovable to pull it off. In the movie, the Minions go to Villain Con to find a villain to serve, and on this attraction, you are at the convention trying along with the Minions to impress a villain to get hired on as part of their gang. Much of what you see in this video is footage of the queue, since officially Universal does not allow filming on rides, though that's not always enforced. To impress the villains, you are given a gun called the Eliminator X. This is a picture of the replica of the gun sold at the gift shop. And you shoot freeze rays and bananas and other projectiles at various moving targets flying across interactive screens similar in some ways to the Disney attraction Toy Story Midway Mania. There are different types of targets worth varying amounts of points. What is new about this ride is that there are no seats. You are standing on a moving walkway throughout the entire experience. It was similar to this moving walkway we encountered at an aquarium last year in that the walkway can turn corners, leading you into different areas of the convention floor. So, what did we think of the ride? We really enjoy interactive shooter attractions like this, and like the Men in Black ride elsewhere in the park. They are always a lot of fun, and this one is no exception. I was concerned about motion sickness on this ride, but I did not experience any at all. I did feel unsteady on my feet in one of the turns, and I reached out to grab Jack's arm to steady myself, but even that was just momentary. Here, you are seeing merchandise from the gift shop at the end of the attraction. I probably would have preferred having seats on this ride, but it was fun anyway, and I guess standing kind of goes along with the theme of walking through the convention floor. This attraction is a solid addition to the park. In Minion Land, you may be unlucky enough to meet some of the villains of the Minionverse, such as the one we see here, the incredibly evil Vector. For the hungry minions in your group, there are lots of dining options in Minion Land. The first is Bake My Day, a real-life recreation of a location featured in Despicable Me 2. As the name suggests, Bake My Day is a bakery featuring minion-themed macarons, unicorn-shaped cupcakes, banana Swiss cake rolls, as well as a selection of various types of candy to choose from. There's also lots of pink Bake My Day themed merchandise, especially featuring the ever popular Fluffy the Unicorn.
Next to Bake My Day is a walk-up window called Freeze Ray Pops, featuring a variety of flavors, including, of course, banana. And there's also a popcorn stand called Pop Banana, serving banana flavored popcorn. We didn't eat at any of those places though. We stopped for lunch at Minion Cafe, the new table service restaurant replacing one of my favorites, Monsters Cafe. Allegedly, Minions are running the kitchen at this cafe. There are signs that they are moments away from a culinary disaster all over the restaurant. To order here, you are instructed to use the app in your phone. In fact, there seem to be no other way to order other than through your phone. Alice ordered Lucy's Top Secret Salmon, which came with coconut blue rice, Thai cucumbers, edamame, and something called lipstick taser sauce, which was a sweet orangey sauce that came on the side in a pipette, all for $19.99. I ordered Uncle Drew's Belly Fillin' Pork Sandwich on a Hawaiian pretzel bun with chimichurri sauce, apple butter, bacon jam, and arugula on it, with a side of green banana chips for $16.99. We both thought this was one of the best meals of our vacation. It all tasted good or great, and wasn't a typical theme park menu. If you would like to support this channel, do me a favor and check out the link to my Amazon page. Ordering anything from Amazon after clicking that link means I will make a small commission, which will help keep this show on the road. The theming of this restaurant really was a work of art. One section of the restaurant is made to look like the restaurant's kitchen. Another is decorated to look like the Minion's break room with inspirational office posters and the water cooler. Other areas represented the restaurant's dining room decorated with Minion artwork. This place had good food and a cool theme. has a couple of decorative facades like the Bank of Evil, another location featured in the movies, or this graffiti artwork from the Minions. And here is some merchandise we thought was cool in the gift shop at the end of the other Minion themed ride, the previously mentioned Minion Mayhem that makes me motion sick. I can't do motion simulators, but if you do enjoy motion simulator screen rides like Jack does, you will probably like this one as you are turned into a minion and go on an adventure in Gru's lab. And I really like these dress a minion plushes that you can buy costumes for. They were adorable. Minions Land is a lot of fun. It was cool to see that the Minions have taken over this section of the park. And we are looking forward to seeing the park's next new section, set to open in 2024. They will have Shrek's Swamp Home, we can see over the fence here, where Shrek and Donkey will do meet and greets, along with the Trolls and Kung Fu Panda and... I don't know, whatever Gabby's dollhouse is. I am okay not knowing. Click the links at the end of this video to check out some of our previous Universal Orlando adventures. I'm Alice. And I'm Jack. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so we can see you the next time we're traveling through.